Apologize for all the uh, background noise. People got to work. Mowing across the street. Chickens got to work too. They're laying eggs. So, um, I bought this intact vacuum for my pool. As you can see, there's a couple of algae spots in it. I'll show y'all how this thing works and how I modified it to make it work even better. So, let's get into it. This thing comes with two heads. One of them is a little vacuum head. It looks like a little triangle. I like using this one. It works seemingly better. Also comes with a little filter. And you just insert the filter. Insert your head. Turn it on and start vacuuming. But what I found out that this doesn't catch this screen doesn't catch the algae so what I've done is grabbed a little green or red Brillo and this may or may not tear the motor up but at this point I just want the algae out I don't really care I think it's 56 bucks at uh, fold it and fold it in half Hold it like this, shove it in there. Then once you get it in there, open this other half up, make a pocket. The first time you do it, it takes a little bit, but it'll kind of form around itself. And it forms a pretty good catch pocket for all the algae. What happens, is the algae goes through this little back black screen and it doesn't doesn't catch it it just blows it out these vents so i want it to catch all the algae and all those fine particles i have a sand filter and it also catches that little fine bits of sand that get blown through and you could probably use that other triangular head but this is the one I like to use. So, number one thing is make sure you insert this into the pool completely before you turn it on. All right, here we go. Also make sure you turn it off and kind of pull it out real quick because you don't want everything that you sucked up flowing back out. So we'll turn it off and pull it out. I'll we'll show you all the mess that's in here. It does have a flapper. Mine's probably dry rotted and doesn't work all the way. So just pull this out and you can reuse this to see there's there's debris in there but, see a little sand and leaves and some small debris that it does catch but it don't catch all this see all of that used to be red so this catches all the little sand particles 
and everything else. It's probably gonna reduce the life of this vacuum, but this is my recommendation. It's probably not recommended by the company, but proof's in the pudding. There it is, clean again. You can reuse it as many times as you want. Same with a little sock, obviously. Um, just cleaned it in the garden hose. Put it back. Good for the next time. The pool maintenance is not as hard as people think it is. Well, I don't think so anyway. I've got this cheap aqua chem. It's a little dirty because I keep it out in the shop. But it does the job. You just take this, fill it up to the line with your water. You want to go about arm length deep. I put my fingers like this, hold it down, drop it in, turn it up the top. And I flick it until it gets to the line. Probably don't matter that much. Then you want to take your little chlorine and it's five drops. So I know mine's just a little high because I just put chlorine in it last night. And the red one is your pH. Five drops there. You wanna take them and give it a little shake. And I like to look at it in the sun, but ideal is, so this is a little bit low on my pH and it's a little hot on my chlorine, which is fine. Cause I had a little bit of algae last night and I wanted to burn it out. So I, I'll uh, tell you what I put in there here in just a few minutes. So ideal is six or uh, seven point six so I'm gonna take my pH and I'm gonna scatter it and I'll show you how I measure that next so this is an 18 foot by 42 inch swimming pool um, it says it's 4800 gallons of water so I'm going to add let's see three ounces to bring it up to from a 7.2 to a 7.6. I'm gonna add three ounces. And what I did was I got this little measuring cup here. I just fill it to the three ounce and uh, scatter it abroad. I'm not gonna do it just yet because my pool pump's not on. You want everything, when you're adding chemicals, you always wanna have your pool pump circulating. So next, got that little floater right there I always buy just the regular chlorine tablets it's three inch pucks I put one in per week one chlorine tablet in per week and I have it on I have it on about halfway so that screen allows it to break down faster or slower. And it's a, it looks like one, two, four of them open out of six. So it just allows chlorine to go through. But I have attempted these right here, the clear balance, they break down a whole lot faster. So, I mean, I'm still gonna use them, but I put them on top of what I already have in there just to use them up. But I would just recommend just regular old chlorine tablets. They work just fine. So going back to the pH and the pH up and the pH down, depending on where you're located at, what your water level is or what your water pH is like, it will never change from down to up. So this pH down I've had for about six years. Um, my water is always at a pH up if it's low on pH level. So just a reminder, once a week, 
I add half of the bag of chlorine shock and it don't matter which one you use. I've used them all, they all work the same. They uh, prevent algae from catching up. And also, once a week, I add Clarifier Advanced. Um, I add two ounces to this swimming pool. Um, there's instructions on how many ounces you should add. What I like to do is uh, schedule a day, whether it's Sunday morning, I'll come out and I'll vacuum the swimming pool and I'll scrape it and then I'll add my chlorine and my clarifier, check my pH levels, and uh, I just got into a routine of doing it. Okay, as far as pool maintenance, so invest in a skimmer because you're gonna have to get the bugs out and the leaves out. And it's pretty easy. Just take your bugs and your leaves and get them out. I would recommend uh, go ahead and invest in one of these rubber um, brushes. They work a whole lot better and they don't dry out as fast. The little plastic ones that you buy, they dry rot real quick or sun fade and then you'll have plastic little strings all the way throughout. These, I've had this one for, a, I've had this one for about a year now and it seems to be working good. It has broken off a few places, but not as bad. And the rubber has held up pretty good. So scrub the bottom and uh, scrub the sidewalls and turn your filter on. I'll show you my filter up next. So this is the sand filter that I got. I can't remember how many uh, gallons it is, um, unfortunately. It is the SX2100. The part number on it is SF80110 TAC2. This thing I've had for about two years. I had one before it um, for about four years. Uh, it It's about 250 bucks to get started, but it's well worth it because those cloth filters that come with these above ground swimming pools uh, it tends not to filter everything as good um, this does have a backwash rinse cycle filter and um, it works great it's very quiet uh, in the swimming pool it's got a little filter screen on the side here that you can take and it catches all your debris i did have to rig some stuff up because the plumbing didn't tie in but that is what it is. I'm gonna turn this thing on and let it run, and then I'm gonna scatter my pH, because that's the only thing that was low on my swimming pool, so. And that's as quiet as it is. I do let mine run for eight hours a day. Um, whether it's morning or night, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so you always wanna turn your filter off while you're switching settings. So we'll turn that off and take this cap off. And this gets a little bit loud, but you'll understand. Take the cap and the O-ring out. You've seen that green setting, hopefully. If not, rewind it. Then I'm gonna turn this to backwash. And turn my pump back on. I'm gonna let it run. I just did this last night, so it's not going to be that bad. There's a sight glass here. It gets algae built up in it, and you really just have to watch the flow in your water. So since I've already done it, I'm not going to do it continuously. And then I switch it to rinse, and I turn it back on. Let it run for about a minute. And then I'll turn it off. Then I turn it to filter. Turn it back on. Put my cap back on. And that's it. I do that about once a week. Along with adding the chemicals and everything like that. So 
you also have to check your screen on your filter. Make sure that it's clear. It's my pH. That's all it takes. Make sure you're checking your pH and chlorine levels weekly. Make sure you got a tablet in there, three inch tablet. Clean as a whistle all summer long. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you all got something out of this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Share this video if you know somebody with a green swimming pool. Thank y'all for watching.